This coil right here was uh, reading 11 kilo ohms between the ground and the plug where the spark plug goes. Um, I found out that five of those 11 kilo ohms came from this bad connector right here. So that would bring it down to 6 kilo ohms. Well, I found another coil. This coil is good. It's good. It reads 6 kilo ohms from the ground, the body of the coil, to this wire. The wire's too short. I'm having to put an extension in it, solder, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to put this plug wire on it. Then, of course, I'm going to insulate it thoroughly. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, I soldered this on and then I extended the wire. It was too short. Soldered it with uh, good, good quality solder. Now I'm going to put the boot on and I'm going to insulate this whole thing right here with this uh, this is a uh, Tessa heat resistant wire. Okay. And um, the uh, resistance now is reading 5.9 kilo ohms from the body to the coil plug. That's good. I failed to mention that this is wrapped in 3M electrical tape, heavily wrapped, and it is still 5.9 kilo ohms from the boot plug to the body of the coil and the primary, excuse me, uh, this is secondary, secondary is 5.9 kilo ohms, and from the kill switch, uh, the uh, kill switch to the ground or the body of the coil is 1.8 ohms. Okay, let me get that in the picture. Just got through wrapping uh, this entire plug wire in heat resistant Tessa tape. This is good stuff. Uh, okay, now let's read the resistance from the body of the coil to the plug to the opening of the spark plug. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put this end in there. I'm going to back this up some. Okay, some more, some more, some more. Alright, here we go. Alright. Up. Okay, here we go. Five point nine kilo ohms, that's good. Uh, those of you that can't see, there you go. Okay, we're good. That'll that'll crank. That'll crank. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put this on the uh, lawnmower. It's clean. The grounds are made sure these are pretty clean, so there's good contact with the ground. I'm gonna clean up the kill switch tab there and go connect it to the lawnmower. I got the coil back on the uh, push mower. Uh, by the way, this company right here out of Brookhaven, if you ever need any AC parts, ugh, it's a little tight. If you ever need any AC parts, they are awesome. I meant awesome service, awesome prices. Okay. All right, the coil's back on. Might be a wee bit too close. I'm gonna recheck that uh, that uh, between the flat wheel and the uh, coil. Try to crank this old girl. I got a clamp there. 
Uh, I have the uh, RPM set to about 3,600 RPMs. Uh, let's let's see if she'll crank. All right, here we go. Whoa, yeah. This old right. Hold on, that gummit and get my ass. that all of that aggravation all because this this right here was adding about 5,000 ohms of resistance between the coil and the spark plug wow I'm back in business again <laughs>